advantage. This is not looking good for the purple team. Ezreal is in the bush waiting. We'll have to see what happens. He's gonna go for the gank, I assume. He runs out to grab him. Hits him. Oh, but then there's a the Heimdinger the behind the dinger goes down. Oh, hit him with no. Oh. And Varys gets the double kill. A two to one exchange for the blue team. This is definitely not looking good. Between all of them, they only have two deaths. They're doing really, really well. Them, on the other hand, not so much. We'll have to see how this goes. We're barely hitting the 10 minute mark here, of about. So you never know. They're just pounding away at this turret. I think it actually might be gone. Here comes the wild Lin Chow. Then he throws down her Q. Just to poke a little bit. Throws down another Q. Ferris and Ezreal are here to try to protect that top tower while Nunu is farming, which he should be doing. Everyone's ults. Not everyone's ults. All the blue team ults are up. And he got one flashes right at him. Hits him with a volley barrel. And Tibbers kills and gets a double kill. Wow. That Annie is 5 and 1. Congratulations. And Varys destroys the turret. But Nunu hit Nunu with the ice block. And the Nunu ult. Ooh, shut down. But I think Nunu is going to go down for it. And Ace. One for three exchange. Wow. This is not looking good for the purple team. This is all I think but over. Blue team has a 5,000 gold advantage and a turret on them. Not only that, 11 to 3. That is a huge difference. We're barely 10 minutes into this game. They're starting to work on the second turret using some skill shots from Ezreal. And he runs in there and gets hit by the Ferris Soul. What's gonna happen? The Ezreal comes out, hits him with the turret. And Mikko kills this, but goes down. And Heidinger kills the Ezreal with a combination of turrets and basic attacks. That is a win for the blue team. They will accept that all day. Two for one. Two for one. Annie is right there, but she would only go up just a little bit. She's just going to move on knife and check red buff. She doesn't need it. He does, though. He needs the gold. That'll help. Some experience. 50 gold right there. I think Annie doesn't even know what's coming. Nunu pops up from behind her. Hits her ghost. Hits her with the It's Annie. And he's gonna explain Nunu, and she's not gonna make it out though. She did at least get one kill for it. So that red buff went to waste. And here comes the Heimendinger. He's bottom lane. Now throwing down the turrets, just getting some farm up. And this bottom turret is gonna be gone. It is melted. Purple team's Another destroyed. purple team turret gone. And that gold advantage just keeps coming. We'll see as this game gets later. But that, I think, is like I said earlier, but over. And they're landing their skill shots and poking Nunu pretty well. Hit him with a wrench of basic attack. And then it comes up to pop him on everything. And they are melted. Now it's three on one for this time of dinger. But he is in between two different turrets. He goes on the turret. They are getting attacked. They have no idea what's going on. Ooh, and Nunu goes down to the rocket in a combination of the Q with Annie. It's a one for one exchange and what look would be hopeless for Heimendinger. Heimendinger, respect those turrets. All right. So, Annie has Tivers. If they decide they want to try to push right now, and they are. I'm getting your legs down to try to attack. And some basic attacks are going out. Zin comes out. 
and he gets stunned by Annie. And he goes up, and Tibbers does come out, but oh no! Nunu's ultimate, and oh, it barely did anything! She lost only a little bit of her health for that. Tibbers, on the other hand, he's gone! He is a pot shot away from dead. But once again, the purple team does not capitalize on a good moment. That's going to cost them. Earlier I said that the purple team would have the advantage in late game, but I don't think they're going to make it to late game. They're going to go try to get Dragon. That will help a lot. That'll give them a nice buff and give them 200, over 200 gold. So that will help. Will it help a lot? Absolutely not. Not in the gold department, but in the buffs, they might actually be able to win, or at least not lose as much in a team fight if that happens. Annie's gonna go check it. I think that's a bad idea. She is squishy. She is right there. And that dragon is gone. They are out of there with the dragon buff. Ezreal throws down some of his skill shots with the poke. Oh, but Ferris comes in with the other. And there goes down Ezreal with all the turrets and everything. There it goes. Then Xiao, only one up Nunu, and he gets the double kill. And there goes that dragon buff. I think this one is gonna go to the blue team by far. Over 5,000 gold. I mean, I think it's just a matter of time at this point. We will see. I think this is just too much of a deficit to come back from. This is very, very well played by Annie Barris and Heimdinger. Between the three of them, they, they played very well. The Ezreal Hole comes out and takes a decent chunk out of Varys, but almost does almost kill Annie. The turrets back them off. Some skill shots go out, and he eats one of the turrets. That's just not nice. It's just like metal. They are trying to farm on their base, which is what they need to do. But the only way I can see Purple Team coming back from this is if they, quote unquote, turret hump, and just stay in their base other and farm. Other than that, I do not see how Purple Team comes out of this winning. If they keep going away from their base like they are right now, they are going to lose. I have a feeling one more ace or two and this game is over for Blue. On the counter side, if somehow Purple can get some kind of advantage, maybe kill Annie when she's by herself, like she is right now, then I think Purple Team might have a small chance. But they need to pull off something big, an ace. They're all right there. And they find Annie. And Annie is running. She gets hit with the